Here we are, it's Thursday, the 5th of November. And uh, it's a mild night, so we're all here. Okay. Back up. Back up. I gotta turn around here. Get the door shut. Okay, I gotta get this on the tripod. Ow! Oh, my god, they're impatient. Okay, we got that set up. Turn the light on. All right. All right, let's go. Come on. They just had a whole a whole loaf of bread with peanut butter and a whole bucket of uh, of the dog food. Go. There we go. Mobbed again, and we're mobbed again. Yeah. I'll have to get the riot police out here. There's a riot. And they got more on a couple more pounds are ready to put out because this this is six pounds. I'm gonna do eight. I see the guy on the right. There he is. Ow! Get off my legs! I should have put the the mild night out. I should have put the uh, ski pants on because of the claws. Yeah. There we go. Eighteen. Eighteen critters. Yeah. <clears throat> Last night, uh, we put out more dry food, and I, got, I had a great big giant box of honeycomb cereal, <coughs> and I, I said that should do them, you know, a big box like that. So I, anyway, I put it in the container and I dumped some out, and next thing you know, the whole box was gone. They ate the whole box in a minute and ten seconds. And this was after the, the filming, you know, because uh, we don't just do. Uh, one feeding, we do a uh, little baggie. We do uh, a bunch of them. Now, these fellows aren't too aggressive tonight because it's mild. grapes there and I got marshmallows tonight. You guys complained about the cookies last night. We checked the content of the chocolate. Very little cocoa in the uh, in the chocolate side of that cookie. Very little. Not enough to bother these fellows. And and it's not it's not the cookie chocolate, it's the chocolate chocolate that's harmful to them. Like a chocolate bar or or something like that, but uh, you don't feed them that. But uh, the cookies that they have very little cocoa in them, and they're harmless. So don't get your knickers in a twist over that. And better still, don't turn it on, and then you won't be upset. And the problem. So, and these wieners, there's no nitrates, there's no salt. They're just bare chicken and that's it, so. And it's better than the, the beef ones. The beef one has all animal byproducts in it. Yeah. <clears throat> and I don't know if you guys remember Rascal. Some do that were on there. Rascal lived with me for 13 and a half years and it was a record for any raccoon in the wild to live like that. And uh, so, I mean, I fed her on hot dogs and peanut butter sandwiches. And uh, she had cookies and everything. So they, they can live, live a long time. These guys are going to survive the winter because of what they're getting here. They won't have to worry about starving to death in the spring.
Now when it snowed the other night around 11 o'clock, it snowed, they were gone. Poof, gone. I went up to wash that, get my hose back out. It was mild enough to get the hose out again. And they're going to wash that door down. My God, it's disgraceful looking. And that's from these guys. You want one up there? Here. The movie fellow wants one. Here, come here. You want it? Well, the heck with you then. He didn't want it. <clears throat> oh well. They got the grapes all ready. They won't last long. In fact, I might put them out now. See, these guys are slowing down. Yeah, they're not too aggressive tonight. And, and the old guy was here. And what I mean by the old fellow, there's a, an older one that comes here. His face is right old looking. He was here the other night in the snow. Yeah. Scooter, what happened? You lost your spot, did you? Okay, I'm going to put the, put the grapes down, I think. I don't. And yeah, they want they want the grapes, so we'll put the grapes out. Yeah, see, they're not they're not that hungry tonight. Yeet. Oh, that darn Connor! He got out again. He was right there waiting, boy. Oh, I could just shoot him. Ugh. He does that all the time. Here. Great. There's the grapes. Only me, guys. It's only me. Oh. What am I going to do with that cat? He's way down in the woods. Yeah, took off in the woods. Well, it's not a cold night out. You know what? I got a good mind to leave him out. You know that? That's what I gotta do. I'm gonna good mind just to leave him out and teach him a lesson. Let him freeze tonight. See, ever since you get out that day, <clears throat> he's been just biting at the bit to get out that door. And I had my hands full, see, I had the empty dishes in my hands and I couldn't grab them. Yeah. What are you doing, bud? You're gonna have some grapes, a whole floor full of grapes. There's one behind the gate there. Come on. You coming? Yeah. Well, well this movie's a bust. Anyway, um, if they all come back later, we'll uh, we'll fire it up again. <laughs>